Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karini, or you can call me Corinne. And I get lots of requests to make a Canva tutorial on how to make your own planner dashboards and how to print them. So today I thought I would share a little bit of what I have learned in the past few months. I am not an expert on Canva, I am still learning, but since I opened my Etsy shop in the beginning of 2022 and I fell in love with ring planners, I have been using Canva quite a bit. And I want to share a little bit of what I know with you. So before we start, I just want to say that I have the paid version of Canva. And I highly recommend if you are thinking about making your own dashboards or if you are thinking about starting an Etsy shop, um, I think it's 100% worth it. However, you can always start with a free version and see if you would like to upgrade it later. This will be a simple tutorial on how you can create your own planner dashboards, how to resize them into different sizes, and I will also be adding what, I, what we create today into my freebies. And the link is down below in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open Canva, and you're gonna come here to create a design, and you're gonna come right down here on custom size. As you can see, I have some sizes that I used recently and they will be right here. But if you are creating something that you don't have it here, you just insert the sizes right here. And I am choosing inches, but you have other options here depending what where you are. So let's do, why don't we do a personal wide size, which is 4.75 by 6.75 and create new design okay so you can see i have all these lines around the document and i use them as guides because this one for example this line right here is where you're going to cut the paper and the hole punch will be right in between these two lines so i love having them here and the way you add them is you come to file and you click here, mine is already showing, but let's just say I don't have them, it's gonna look like this. So you come here and you just click on show margins and show print and bleed. And then you can also have these right here, which let's just undo so you can see, see now they are not there anymore. You come to file, show rulers and guides, and it will show them on the top and on the side. And this is good if you want to bring, let me show you an example before we start. So let's just say you are making your dashboards and you want to make one for inbox, which let me make this bigger. And let's say you, wanna, you want them to be right there. Let's make this size 50 but you want them to be, or maybe right here. This happens to be the middle, so let's just make it, a, make it a little bit bigger. Like the middle, it will be the solid line, but you want them to start right here. Let's do this, and I'll show you why. Because if we duplicate this page and you write finances, you're gonna need more room. And so, for example, here, if you leave the finances here, you're gonna cut the F when you print. So this is where this comes from. You want, let's just say for all your pages, you want them to start right there, like the letter. You want the letter to start right there. So when you bring it down, you can come here and move finances to be in the same spot. And if what if you say, how can I look at them side by side? You come right here, down here, and you click grid view and it's going to show both pages there for you see and to go back to where you were you just double click so that's how i use them i you can also bring it down um, just to make sure you have them in the right spot in all pages and once you move from page to page they will show see and they look like they are in the right spot and you can bring as many as you need like that, see? And if you don't want them anymore, like everything is in the right place and you wanna get rid of them, you can just move them back like that. So now I'm gonna delete everything and we're gonna start designing our freebies. And 
So here you can come to elements if you want to find something specific. For example, you can type flowers and, you know, it will show you lots of options. If you see right here, if it shows the crown, is because it's a pro. So if you have the paid version, you would be able to use this image. If you are not, then you couldn't. But there are plenty, plenty of images if you are not a pro. And then here it will be in all, so you will have some little videos, whatever this is called. I always choose graphics and um, actually it's showing right here too, but I, I always come to graphics. If you want photos, you can come over here and uh, so forth. So you can also come to templates and see if you find something you like. So here on templates, let's try flowers. And the reason why I might use a template today is just because I want to make it simple. This is not going to be like how you can design. It's going to be how you can create a dashboard. And you, once you know, I'm sure you will be creative to start from scratch or use a template. The only thing I would say, you cannot just grab a template from here and sell it. So make sure you change things around and make it your own. Let me browse and see what I can find that I like so we can use. And there are lots of options that you don't have to be a pro to use it. So let's just find something that I like. If you know, if you know my channel, you know I love the flowers. So I'm just looking for something. Well, actually, I kind of like this butterfly. Let's save this butterfly for later. And so, okay, if you want to repeat this page, duplicate this page, you're going to press here. See, it duplicates it, but let's delete it. And if you want to add a page, you're going to come right here. So I am going to leave this butterfly because I might use it after we do a flower one. So did you see what I did here? There are these two arrows where you can put the page up or the, put it down. So let's go back there and see what we can find. Okay, I do love this. I love these flowers. Why don't we click on this one? And now I'm gonna start changing it. So, let me first of all delete all of this because I'm not going to be using and I will definitely use the flowers. So every time you click on the image, you see this rotating thing here. So you can rotate and to make sure it's like straight, it shows the 90 degrees right there. So let me bring this one down. And if you want to make it bigger, you can use this arrow right here. So if you see this line right in the middle, it says it's telling you that the image is centered. And I do like the way this looks. I don't think I want the background on this one, so I'm going to just delete it. You click on it and just delete. And uh, why don't I look for a verse that I really love? See, it already finds it for me. I love this verse. So let me copy and paste. And then before I copy and paste, let me just show you. If you want to add a text, you come right here and you can do one of these three, which to me, it doesn't make a difference because if you go with a little bit of body text, like let me show you, you can make it bigger. So you, you can choose any of this. For example, if you choose this one, you can make it smaller. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. So let's just choose the middle one right here. And then let's copy this verse right here. And then I'm going to click, double click so it's blue, like it's highlighted. And then I would do Control V, which is to paste. Then I will make this box a little bit narrower and let's put here right in the middle actually i have to make this smaller because i still have to add the verse and then let me highlight this and do the alignment 
Actually, let's leave. This looks better. I just don't like the go right here. So let me increase this a little bit. And I am going to change the font. Let me see here. Why don't we try? If you click right here, it will show you like handwriting, corporate, and all kinds of fonts. And let me go to handwriting. And let's try some. I do like this one. Let me see if I want to use this one. We could use this one. It's cute. But let me show something. So when you click on a box and you come right here to spacing, there are two options here, letter spacing or line spacing. I do want to make more space between the lines. So you just go like this, see? And it will have, you will get more space between the lines. Then let's put this right in the middle. Let's just see if there is another font that I like. And I mean, you can try, there are so many things here that you can try. Sometimes I come here and I just spend hours just browsing and trying different things. I kind of think that the other one was better. So to come back to what it was, just come on to the, this arrow right here and do, and do the undo, which you could also use control Z. So I think I like this one better. So, okay. And then now let me just copy Joshua 1.9. And I will show you that you can also copy Come here, click on it, and just paste. And you can use this arrow to bring it down. And I will make this smaller because it was size 14. So let's do like size 9. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get this out of the way. And this out of the way. And I will click on both of this. And you're going to do that with the left-hand side of your mouse. And so both are selected and I will group them. So once you group, you can move both at the same time. And then you can come to position right here and choose middle, center. So that's telling you that it's in the center and you can hear my dog walking. <laughs> hi, Pacer. He just came to say hi. Okay, so now that you see it's in the center, you can move back and the reason why I moved, let me just show you. If you try to bring these two and this is clo too close, it's going to grab this box as well. So that's why I took it out of the way. Let me see if I can make this just a little bit smaller. And then put it in the middle. Let me, make, let me move this a little bit here. I don't want the leaves right on the text, so let's move like that. And then let's move this. Let's bring this down. The middle is right there. That I feel like I, I like it better a little bit lower. So I am going to leave it right there. And I'm also going to add my name. So... Let me move this so you can see, and then planning with K, and it's way too big, so let's move, let's change to size 8, and then you can turn it right here until you get to 90 degrees, and bring it to the middle, and you see the, so usually you're going to see a dotted line or a solid line so the solid means it's right in the middle however you can also click on it come to position and see if it's middle like if this is not um like if you can click on it it's because it's already in the middle all right and i feel like this is a little bit big should i let me bring it to size seven it depends on the font you're using so for this one i felt like i usually use size eight but for this one, I felt like I needed to go down a little bit. Okay, so this is one of the freebies that we're going to add today. I really love flowers, as you can see. And then, okay, let me show you something else, which I usually do. 
when I don't want a lot of like intense colors, which these are not intense, but still, I always come here in transparency and I bring it down a little bit because I do like pastel colors. So let's bring it down. I feel like 80 is good for this. And then we're going to come here and do the same. And you can, instead of using this, you can also click on it. Type 80, which you already know this one. You made it into 80. And there you go. I see that the flower is kind of cut right here. So let me bring it down. Okay. So whoever created this template, they moved the box over here so this will cut the image if you make it bigger over here it will not cut the image do you see the difference like if i make it shorter like this it's cutting the flowers if i want to make it smaller but i don't want to cut the flowers i will use this right here and let me just change this a little bit because i don't want it to be right on top of the letters um maybe like that okay i do like it like that all right now let me just see if i can find another butterfly that i like so let's type here butterfly and then it's going to bring everything that has butterflies here so let's just browse and see what we can find that we can use Okay, I might like this one better. I have an idea. Okay, why don't we delete this one? There you go. And then let's use this to make another dashboard. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the background. I don't like the background. And then what we could do also, because we don't want to just grab this and sell it or share it as a freebie, you gotta change it and i will leave um what is it called their policies about that in the description of the video and why don't we say be your own and then you make it bigger right here then you can move it to the middle uh, when you see a solid line it's in the middle but you could also come to position, choose center. So now it's in the center of the page. Um, so we're gonna say, be your own kind of beautiful. And then let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's put this in the middle right here. See the solid line? And I like the size of the butterfly. What else? what do i want to do here let me copy so Control c and then you bring it here Control v and the good thing about that is it's gonna paste exactly where it was on this picture so what i want to add here is a background actually before we add the background let me show you something so you can click on the left mouse button and you see it's highlighting all three and you're going to come here to position and you're going to space evenly so i'm going to click here here and tied tidy up so now that i know the spaces are the same i'm just going to group everything together and you do the same thing you click on the mouse you bring the mouse down select all three group so now if you move, it's going to move everything. And as you can see, we have solid lines. So that means this is in the middle, but you also can come right here and I'm just moving so you can see the difference. Like when it changes, you can come to position, middle, center. Okay, now let's add a background. We are going to come to elements and you're going to type whatever you're looking for, but I'm going to type abstract and see what brings me and i'm gonna go choose graphics let me go back to all okay this is kind of what i'm looking for but i don't do i like this one let's click on this one okay first thing you're gonna do 
if you want to add a background before you make it larger to cover the whole page you're going to come to position and you're going to do backward so now it's it's behind everything and then you're going to click right here and right here to bring it down and now it's in your it's in the whole page if you double click you can move it around and you can set wherever you want like if you want more pink you would do it uh, there's pink everywhere but you can choose what you like better so I'm gonna choose right there but one thing I do not like is how the colors are so I'm gonna come to transparency and for that you just click on it come here and then bring it down so it's a lot softer do you see that the only thing with this is sometimes if you put the transparency too low you can't hardly see it if you print on vellum so just a heads up but let me make it into i think 55 looks good so here we have two dashboards and now let me show you what if you don't remember what size you started with what you can do is you come to resize right here and it's going to show you the size that you chose but let's say we want to make this we want to resize this into an a5 so an a5 is 5.8 by 8.3 which i already have in my recents but if if you don't you can just type it right here but i'm just going to click it and then copy and resize and it's going to bring you another um, tab and you will have the same design in different sizes. So actually when I am doing this for, for myself or for the shop, what I do is I come right here and this was the first one. And if I, if just for some reason, is this a personal wide? You can come to resize and take a look. So it is. And... Uh, so I come right here and I say personal wide and let's say freebies Canva video. And uh, one thing that I didn't do over here that I sometimes do most of the time, to be honest, is even though this is the middle, like you see the solid line, I feel like when I punch and I look at this, it doesn't really look in the middle but it's gonna be up to you, whatever you prefer. So I usually bring just a little bit to the right. It doesn't have to be much, like this is the middle, I will bring it like a, just a little bit like that. Actually, that was too much. So you can also use, you can use the mouse or you can use your arrow on your keyboard. So this is the middle, I'm gonna press like, click one time to the right, there. That's me being very particular but that's how I prefer when I print, that's how I like it better. So now we know that this is personal wide, see? And then here, this is the A5, and to make sure we can come right here and see 5.8, 8.3. So let me save this. Oh, actually, when you make a copy, it's gonna show the size right here. So let me say A5, let's delete this, freebies, Canva video. Okay, so now we have personal wide A5. And then I will show you one more thing before we save. And that is so personal wide and A5 are kind of similar the way it's like shaped. But if you choose a size like personal, you will have to adjust everything. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's change to. And even though I have it right here, let me just show you 3.75, 3.75, 6.75, and then copy and resize. And uh, you will see what I'm talking about. See, the flower is down here. So if you happen to change to a personal size, you will have to adjust your flowers or whatever you have going on in the design. This should be in the middle, but let's check. See, middle. And I feel like it's too tiny, so let me increase it to 7. And then did you, you saw it came down. So what you can do, you can use this arrow right here to enlarge it. And so this way it fits in one line. Let me show you better what I'm talking about. So let's just say 
you can just bring this and make it larger. See, that is what I'm doing here. Like if I make it too small, the letters will come down, so you can just make it bigger. And then let me just use this arrow here to go back to where it was, right there. And then what size? So we're going to do the same thing for this one. Seven. And then let me just adjust it here. And bring this down. And this is in the middle right there. And we can actually make it a little bit bigger and personal if we want. So right there is the middle. Let me look. I might want to push this one to the left. And just move this arrow right here. So that the leaves are not on top of the words. Unless you want them to be. And um, I might do this one in the middle. Okay, I like this one I'm liking better in the middle. You guys, it's going to be up to you, whatever you prefer, like especially if you're doing your own dashboards. Actually, if you're doing your own dashboards or if you're doing dashboards for sale, I mean, you have to do what you like best. Okay, so now let's come here and this looks pretty good. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And remember this line right here will be where you're going to cut the paper. And so your hole punch will be between these line and this line right here. So everything's in the middle. Everything looks good. Now let's go to personal wide. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to close A5 here for now. And let's save it. So here you already named your document. So personal wide freebie, freebies Canva video. So you're going to click on share, download. And here you want to click PDF print because it, it's, it tells you best for printing. And then I want to see the crop marks and bleed. Then I want to flatten PDF because it will make it smaller, the file smaller. And then here it tells you that it's going to save two pages, which we only have two pages. So here, this is the thing. This option here is best for professional printing, and this one is best for digital. So this is a pro, but I always use it because I know you guys will be printing. I will be printing, so I do use this, and it's best for professional printing. And then save download settings. doesn't have to save if you don't want to, and then download. And I will show you how it looks like and also at the end of the video I will print and I will show you in camera and I will also show you me cutting it. So then it's almost ready right here. Open file. And there we have it. Both dashboards. And to be honest I still think this pink is way too harsh so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I am going to bring it even lower, the transparency. I did not like that. Okay. And I will come to my downloads. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to share it again. So I'm going to save it again. So let's download it. And then it's almost ready. And then let's open. Yeah, I like this much better. And see, you have the cropped lines right here. And so now what I'm going to do, I will print and I will show you what it looks like in paper. And so to print, I will click Ctrl P. And so it's going to bring me to this. And you can see the page is like super large. So what you want to do, and printers will be different, but even different, it should be similar. Like you should find the where you get these settings on your printer. So I'm going to come here to more settings, and you can see it's fit to printable area. We don't, we do not want that. We want actual size or 100%, which is right here. But just click actual size, and now you can see how you can see the whole 
thing in one page and it's right in the middle, that's what you want. And then the quality, I suggest you choosing the best quality that you can possibly have, which I always choose this one, 1200 dpi. And then if you don't want to print both at once, you can always choose the page here, but I will print both. And so I will be right back. Let's print this out. Hey everyone, so after I printed, I found that I made a mistake and I thought it would be good for you guys to see like how, how do you fix that or you know. So right here, as you can see, I don't want the verse to be broken into um, lines. So remember, we made this into a group. So what we're going to do to fix it, and I wanted to fix it so you guys could see, is ungroup to begin with and then we are going to make this longer right there and we want to be centered with the text so that's it and then i will group it again and if you click on the mouse and you bring it just a little bit up there you won't catch the flower so let's group it again position middle and it's already in the center and as you know i like it a little bit to the right so I will move it a little bit here and I will also move this one a little bit to the right as well because I did not do with you guys in camera. So as you can see, I kind of like my design to end on this line. So that's kind of what I'm doing on this one since it's a bigger design and on this one I just made it to the right a little bit so this is the middle and so i just moved it to the side a little bit and then i thought you know i printed this and i looked at the pink and i'm like why don't we create a different color as well so i went back here and we're duplicate we are going to duplicate this page i'm gonna click right here and i'm gonna delete the background and i want to find maybe a more beige because that's what I'm more into. So when I came back and I went down, I saw all of these. So when you click on something, for example, let me click on this one and I'm just going to delete it. Every time you click on something, if they have things similar, they're going to say magic recommendations. So I'm going to click on see all and look at how many options you have. You know, you just got to browse. So let's try this one right here. It's not really beige, but it's more like neutral. And then before I finish bringing it down, let's do position backward and let's bring it all the way. And then let me click on it just to see. I don't know if I want this part. So what I'm going to do is choose that part. Yeah, I will just leave it as like this and then I will click on it and then come here and tone it down for the transparency and so this is this will be like a more beige option and this will be more pink and I think I will just leave all three and you can print if you want to it will be as freebies and it will be linked down below or on my Instagram okay now I'm gonna print everything and I will see you soon all right I'm back so I printed all three and in different sizes so let me show you here I printed this one in personal wide and then this is the beige I think it looked really it looks really good in vellum and then we got these two and this is the pink one in vellum this is in cardstock and then I also have one if you are new to making your own inserts I just want to show you really quick we're gonna cut all the way to this one and just make sure when you cut this way you don't cut all the way because you need this line to guide you and then that's it so I am going to pop in my planners really quick so we can see how it looks so let's start with the personal and let me just open here like in some notes paper so here we have in vellum the pink version of it and then in cardstock 
and the neutral love it i absolutely love this one and then let's put really quick on my personal white as well and this is in vellum you guys it looks so pretty this i also love this one too love the colors okay this is it for this video i hope it was helpful to you make sure you check the link down below for freebies and i will see you in my next video bye